This is the solution to written homework 56. So, <clears throat> what a double zero means, that means a, a zero of multiplicity 2. So 1 is a zero of multiplicity 2, and 2 is a zero of multiplicity 3. So what that tells us, that tells us that f of x is some a multiplied by x minus 1 squared multiplied by x minus 2 cubed. Now that's degree 5, so a polynomial of degree 5. So it must be of this form. Now to determine a, we'll use this information. When we plug in 3, we're supposed to get 28. So 28 is a multiplied by uh, 3 minus 1 squared multiplied by 3 minus 2 cubed. So 28 is a multiplied by 2 squared multiplied by 1 cubed, but 1 cubed is just 1, so 28 is a multiplied by 4, so 7 is a. And therefore, f of x is Seven multiplied by x minus one squared times x minus two cubed. So show that the function has a real zero between zero and one. Well, uh, notice that if you plug in uh, zero, so g evaluated at zero is, well, that'd be 0 minus 0 plus 0 minus 0 plus 1. So if you plug in 0, you get 1. And if you plug in 1, you get 1 minus 4 plus 3 minus 2 plus 1. And so what is that? So that's 1 minus 4 is negative 3, plus 3 is 0, minus 2 is negative 2, plus 1 is negative 1. So there's a sign change. Uh, on the interval, 0 to 1. And therefore, there must be a 0. zero to one. The reason is because, uh, more or less, you can think of it like this. So this is the line where the output is zero. And <coughs> this point is giving you a point right here. So this is the point 0, 1. And this point is giving you this other point here. This is the point 1, negative 1. And so now <coughs> What you have to do, the challenge is, is you have to start at the red point and end at the green point, and you have to, the question is, is must you cross this line? And the answer is, well, yes, you must. Because if the blue is a polynomial, 
then you have to draw without picking up your pen and you must cross so you have to do it at least once